what we have to do is find ways to square up, meaning to combine the ecological transition and the digital and AI transition in a way that uphold our liberal, democratic and social order. And that's not easy. That precisely requires uh, new social contracts. Therefore, it's not only democracy which is in danger, it's what we call the liberal democratic order. Add to that uh, social aspects, inequality. And what we, have to, what we really are trying to build is a global model, but in a way that respects pluralism and diverging local interests. Well, you can really understand and see AI as a technology to better predict and optimize. So consider, for example, fiscal policy to detect fraud and implement tools to identify and, and fight against uh, fiscal evasion. The rise of machine learning is very powerful because it can detect patterns of action in very complex system that humans would not be able to detect. Naturally, there are many other applications in transportation, in healthcare, in agriculture, and obviously in defense and security by and large. So, if you want to invent the right governance of AI, it's very important for governments to learn how to use and deploy AI across their functions. We talk a lot about privacy as being undermined by the rise of AI. I think it's very important because that's problematic. I think that another one is not spoken about um, quite as much, it's the free will. The rise of AI, if it's about prediction and optimization, is undermine, undermining sorry, the ability of individuals and communities to exercise their free will, to know what they're decided and to, to exercise what they're deciding. And, and that's something that we need to talk a little bit more because, again, it's at the center of what we call liberalism, not economic liberalism, political liberalism. It's about individuals enshrining the rights of individuals. And free will is a key aspect to that. Okay, okay, the Club de Madrid has a key role to play in that conversation. Why? The opportunities and the challenges of the rise of AI are inextricably and irrevenably connected. It's all about compromising, not compromising on everything. There are some areas, like fundamental rights, where we shall not compromise. But because civilizations differ, we need to strike the right uh, compromise. And you know what? Former heads of states and heads of governments have been in those very positions having to deal with very tough compromise and not uh, away from the world, right at the helm of their societies. Understanding citizens, understanding stakeholders, and playing those compromises through democratic governance, that's a huge challenge. So the expertise and the experience that they bring at that very moment is critical. Well, my call for action at this point is get involved. If you think that you're too old, that technology is not for you, that you might be dead when climate change hit with digital transformation and endangers democracy, you're wrong. It's never too early, it's never too late to get involved in advancing the global governance of artificial intelligence and other emerging technologies underpinned by the digital revolution. Mm -hmm.